You might consider yourself an advanced player, and that's good, I want you to be high on confidence. But I want to do a skill assessment and see if you can actually do all of these exercises. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Here I want to do some soccer training drills for beginners. And what I want to do in this video is kind of a physical and technical assessment because I'm not calling you out because when I was a kid or when I was younger, I did the exact same thing. For some reason, when we are young or we're, we're not that advanced, we're just starting out, we think we are better than we are. You're watching professional football on the TV and you say, you know what, I think my skills as good as those guys or I think I could play at that level but you don't realize how far away you are. Now, I'm not saying that to discourage you. I'm just saying that because I want you to learn to be self-aware of your weaknesses so you can improve them. As you get better and better, you realize you have so much more and more to improve. The quote is, I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. The more I learn, the less I know. And that's so true when it comes to soccer. So what I wanna do right now is first a physical assessment. I just want you to try these things. And if you can do these things, then hey, maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're a little more advanced than I think you might be. And again, I'm not doing this to call you out. I'm doing this to encourage you to be self-aware of your weaknesses so you can improve them. Okay, first test. Can you actually touch your toes? Full bend, straight legs, can you touch your toes? Yes, no, be honest with yourself. Something you should definitely look into, work on improving. Can you do a full squat? Okay, so sit down full squat without being hunched over. Sit between your legs, not up here. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Not like this, can you sit down in a full squat and I need to do a better job. I still have to work on this. Push the knees apart, chest up. Can you do a full squat? No, maybe you need to work on your mobility. What about just a plank position, a push up position? Can you hold this with good form for 10 seconds? Not slouching like this, not up here like this, a straight line, tighten your abs. And can you even do 10 push ups? And push-ups mean proper push-ups. You see kids do push-ups or even grown, grown adults doing push-ups like this. That is not a push-up. That's not gonna develop your chest. That's not gonna develop any strength. Can you do 10 push-ups? Good form, control. Chest to the ground. I'm not resting here, I'm just tapping. Pushing up, full extension. And again. Okay, can you do 10 push-ups? Can you go on one foot and hold good balance here, not down like this, bending the knee, back leg behind you. Can you just hold this for 30 seconds? Strong, strong knee, strong ankle, chest is up. I'm not here, I'm not wobbling everywhere. Nice control. Can you do it on both feet? Usually one is worse than the other. And I can feel my left knee needs a little bit of work. Okay, coming down here. And again, can you hold this? Strong balance, strong, tight, ankles tight, not wobbling, just still for 30 seconds. Okay, so a little physical, just basic body control. Soccer, football, you need to be an athlete as well as a footballer, as well as a technician. Okay, so that's a little physical skill assessment or physical ability assessment, how do you fare with that? Some things to work on and you can improve all those areas. Let's talk technical. In my opinion, if you cannot juggle to at least 100 alternating, you're still beginner level technically. Can you do at least 20, 25 on each body part? Right foot, left foot, thigh, both thighs, one thigh. 
can you do 25 on the head? Okay, technical assessment as far as ball control. Can you do those things? A little bit of dribbling. And I'm saying all these things, and if you feel that, hey, I didn't consider myself a beginner, but I can't even do these things, that's okay. I'm just saying this to make you humble. I'm not saying this to bring down your confidence because I want you to improve more than anyone else. I want you to write in the comments how much I helped you improve. And I can't do that if I'm lying to you, if I'm not real with you. Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you. Please be real with yourself. Uh, just a little dribbling assessment. Can you do a cone dribble with one touch only? Left foot and right foot, okay? So bending the knees, good control without touching the cones. Okay, not like this. One touch in between the cones. Little dribbling assessment for you. And both feet, both feet. Shooting assessment. Let's see. Don't have to be far away, but see if you can actually make the ball go where you want it to go with both feet. So can you hit bottom right? Let's say at least, at least corners. Bottom right, bottom left. Can you hit top right? If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. And top left. Maybe I'm a beginner. Bar down, we'll take it. Okay, right foot. What about left foot? And again, not from far away, but just seeing if you can actually push the ball where you want it to go. And I need to work on my top corner with the left. Okay, so technical skill assessment. Now, if you're a beginner or you're advanced and we're doing the shooting with your weak foot, and you can't do it and you say, well, I'm an advanced player, but I just have a weak foot. I want you to change that mentality. Come back, maybe you're an advanced player, but you have a beginner weak foot. Okay, practice that. And then I'm gonna get someone in the comments that says, oh, but Messi, Messi can't use his right. He only uses his left. One, you're not Messi. Two, he can. If he has a chance on his weaker foot, his weaker foot, he will finish that chance. He just prefers to use that foot the left foot, the strong foot in the game. And that's totally fine. You can favor one foot, but you have to have the ability to strike the ball with both feet. So this is a little technical, physical assessment to see if you're a beginner. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, comment below. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.